Taking ectos in school. If you know, you know. Okay, so this is definitely up there with one of my oldest videos so far, anyway. It was about three or four years ago. I was in third or fourth year. I can't really remember. But basically, how I got the ectos is a different story. So what happened was the day before, I go into like a diff completely different town to where, you know, my school is in. And I go and pick them up. And then I come back. And I text all my friends like the night before, like, yo, I've got Molly. Are you up for doing it in school tomorrow? But all this BS. We could skive. We could do whatever we want, right? And of course they took them out. I was handing them out for free. That is as long as you took it in school and, you know, you were feeling kind of the same thing as me. They were uh, Green Trip Advisor Ectos. And these things were like unbelievably strong the school morning comes up right and i'm so excited i've got bottles of water ready i've got everything i need it was the same spot that all my friends used to meet up at the school it was like just a corner bit of a wall and we would just stand there talk smoke cigs whatever so we go there and then i remember we all halved our uh ecto and then we just you know half to put it in our mouth all at the same time did a cheers and then went into school. I definitely remember I had a double period of woodwork and a period of something else. It might have been English, I forgot. But basically, it, towards the end of the first period after, you know, I just popped it, towards the end of it, that was when I started feeling it. Like, you, you know, you could feel your face getting all numb. You can feel your eyes starting to, like, slowly just start moving. Like, you know what I mean, right? Like, they roll back and shit. You can't stop grinding your teeth. Like, you just feel, like, warm, like, you've got a nice warm blanket over you, like, you just want to, like, speak to everybody, you know, but that's not how they come down, it. Nah, the come up is, for me anyway, because I get really anxious, but in woodwork, <laughs> oh my god, so in that woodwork class, I had three friends that also did ectos in that class with me, and this, bear in mind, we were just on a half, a half, and that's it, and we were all just working on the same kind of, like, bench area bit, and we were just, you know, working, just speaking away. And, you know, we asked each other if we could feel it and all that. And it was it was honestly a really good vibe. And after this woodwork lesson, we have lunch, right? So, you know, when, I, when you're on Ectos, you don't really want to eat at all, by the way. So we didn't eat. All we did was go to that corner. We smoked a bit of weed, smoked a bit of cigarettes. You know, we popped our other half. And, um, yeah, we had PE last thing. This PE period was unbelievable because everybody that popped the act, because we were all in the same kind of area, like in the uh, gym hall, we were all, like us only, we were all just sweating buckets. Like you could see it come through our t-shirts and everything like that. And everyone was saying we stunk. Why is your face so red? Why is your eyes so thingy? Why are your are your eyes rolling back? All this sort of shit, you know, just try to make me paranoid, basically. Luckily, none of us got caught. None of us even, like, nobody knew apart from us because we kept it as a secret because we knew if we told anyone, they would, be, like, be screaming, they're on ectos and all the rest of it. So, yeah, fuck that. Don't do ecstasy in school. Well, you can't... I'd say if it's a fun day, you can't... No, actually, I'm not even going to condone that shit, right? Okay, goodbye. <laughs>